Today, I'm going to show you guys the best jump shots for every height in NBA 2K24. First, I'm going to show you guys the best jump shots for guards that are six foot four and below. And then I'm going to show you guys the best jumpers for six foot five to six foot nine builds. And of course, I'm showing my big man some love and dropping the best jump shots for players that are six foot ten and above. So if this video is helpful, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And these are my season three stats so far in NBA 2K24. I have 200 games played and I have a 96 win percent. You can trust me with these jump shots. You're going to get a lot of greens. So the first jump shot I'm going to show you guys is for guards that are six foot four or shorter. Now for the base, go Steph Curry. Okay, Steph Curry is literally the best base for guards that are six foot four and below. Don't go anything other than Steph Curry. Steph Curry is literally the best. So go Steph Curry base, release one go oscar robertson and release number two go darius garland now for the blending go 60 percent oscar robertson and 40 percent darius garland and obviously you're a guard so you're going to want to go with the fastest speed possible all right so the best way to really just to describe this jump shot is quick it's just quick off of a dime it is literally the best jump shot if you are looking to just shoot right off the dribble, right off of a pass, it doesn't matter. I don't know what it is, but as soon as I catch the ball um, off of a catch and shoot jump shot, or if I'm dribbling, like as soon as I hold square, my player literally just picked the ball up and shoots it right away. It's such a quick jump shot. It's really good for quick stops. Um, I think this is good for literally every mode. Ones, twos, threes, fives, literally every single mode. You're going to be able to dominate with this jump shot. I guess mainly the best way to describe this jumper is it just shoots off of a dime. And the front fades are super nice as well. Listen, if you're going to want to be able to get in your bag this year in 2K, you can't just shoot the normal standing jump shots. And, you know, the jump shot with this Pro 2 fade, by the way, I'm using Pro 2, but with this jump shot with the pro 2 fade it's all one motion you catch it you run up and you let it go it's super smooth especially from fading from three uh you're gonna be able to green at a very consistent rate but overall if you're looking for a really quick jump shot that for guards that are six foot four or shorter this is definitely the way to go a lot of the top pro-am guards uh use this jump shot so make sure you look into it try it out and let me know if you guys like it all right so for the second jump shot for guards that are six foot four and below make sure you go with this jump shot steph curry as the base of course like i said steph curry is literally the best base for guards that are six foot four and below now release one go jerry west and release number two you got to go with steph curry now make sure the blending is 50 50 and also of course make sure you go with the fastest speed now if you aren't necessarily a guard that likes super super quick jump shots i think this is the jump shot to go with now this jumper is a little bit slower than the first one i just showed you guys um but listen it, it doesn't matter okay it's still quick it's still quick enough to get your shot off uh, the defender's not going to be able to get to you. But the first one was really, really quick. So if you like that, go with that. But this one is pretty much a slowed down version of it. Um, it's super smooth. It's one motion. And basically, what I like to do with all my jump shots, including this one, I just let go whenever the ball is at the top of my head. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I am currently using push uh, release cue. Every single time I'm using push. It doesn't matter the jump shot. It doesn't matter the height. I am, will always be using the push release. Push is the best in my opinion. Um, it's just overall the greatest, okay? But with this jump shot, with the push release, it's literally butter. It almost like it snaps green every single time. Now shooting off the dribble with this jump shot is super, super smooth. Overall, it's good with catch and shoot. It's good with, you know, catching it, fading it right away. You're going to be able to green with this jump shot at a very consistent rate. But in my opinion, these are the two best jump shots for guards that are six foot four and below. Let me know down below in the comment section if there are any guards that are six foot four and below and you got some really good jumpers. Let me know. I want to try them out. And now we're on to the best jump shots for builds that are six foot five to six foot nine. Now, if you're into super quick jump shots, this is the one to go with. This is so quick. It almost feels like you're using like a shorter player, but six foot five to six foot nine players, typically the jump shots aren't too quick. But with this one, bro, you're going to feel like you're on a short guard. It's so quick. Now for the base, go with Terrence Mann. That base is actually insane. Okay, Terrence Mann as the lower base. Release number one, go with Troy Brown Jr. One of the best releases in the game super smooth and i'm actually using that on my current jump shot so go with troy brown jr as release one now upper release two go kyle corver very underrated release put it on you're gonna snap green okay now for the blending go 50 50 and go with the fastest speed possible now like i said with the terrence man base 
this jump shot is so quick like look at me shooting around with it i forget how quick it is bro and it's super nice so if you're a player that likes to get a lot of threes off and just to like create a lot of space from the three-point range this is the jump shot to go with your defenders are literally not gonna be able to close out if you hit them with the john wall snatch bag or the lebron step back you're gonna be able to shoot that so quick even if they put a hand up they can't contest you this release it almost pushes your player backwards um and the release is super quick i mean just take a look at it i'm literally shooting off the dribble with it and i'm literally greening just about every single time with this jump shot so if you're a shorter guard that is now trying out builds that are like six foot five to six foot nine and you're so used to those quick jump shots i literally think this is the quickest base you can get on builds that are six foot five to six foot nine it's great for shooting off of a dime it's also really effective uh, for front fades side fades you know if you like to do the magic johnson then shoot those midi um fading mid-range shots that are super effective you can do that i mean even the front fades are super nice as well so i'm telling you man the terrence man base is is that is what is making this jump shot yes the two releases are super smooth they're super effective but the base is really is what makes this jump shot so good so like i mentioned if you're a shorter guard now trying out these taller builds even at six foot nine this base the terrence man base and this jump shot is just going to make you feel like you're on a small guard again so i would highly recommend putting this on and if there are any terrence man base users let me know down below in the comment section just type vouch terrence man and let everybody else know that's watching this video how effective and how green this base is bro but overall with this jump shot is very smooth is one motion and super quick so if you guys like those type of jump shots i like the vibes put this on and let me know what you think about it now this is the second jump shot for bills that are six foot five to six foot nine and this is the one i'm actually currently using right now on nba 2k24 and like i said man i got a 96 win percent with this jump shot put it on you're gonna be greening at a consistent rate now the jump shot i just showed you guys with the terrence man base is super quick and if you can't quite get that down i think this jump shot is going to be better for you it's really effective for me so the base we're going to go with tracy mcgrady literally hands down one of the smoothest bases in the game okay not the quickest but the smoothest okay now release number one got to go with kobe bryant and release number two go troy brown jr and the blending goes 75 percent troy brown jr and 25 percent kobe bryant and of course go with the fastest speed possible if I could describe this jump shot in one word, it would be smooth, okay? If you're looking for a smooth, one-motion jump shot, nothing too quick, nothing too slow, very easy to time, this is the jump shot to go with. I've been using this Tracy McGrady base for about, I don't even know, like a month and a half now. Now, I don't know if I'll ever change it. I love this base so much. It's super smooth. It's one motion, and it's really easy to time. I'm not going to lie. If you can't time with this jump shot, you just need to go make an inside center and don't shoot the ball anymore because... This is one of my favorite jumpers in the game. It's so smooth and easy to green. Now, this jump shot is just a basically an all-around jumper. You know, it's, like I said, it's green off the dribble. You can catch and shoot with it. It's super smooth and easy to time off the catch and shoots. If you want to front fade from the mid-range, from the three-point line, if you want to fade to the side on the three-point line or the mid-range area, it's so easy to time. And I will say, this is the crazy part about this jump shot. No matter what jumper I take, whether it's a catch and shoot, whether it's a fade, whether it's, you know, dribbling, like shooting off the dribble, a standing jump shot, a quick peek or something like that. The jump shot timing is so similar to all the different types of jumpers that it's, that's why it's so easy to green with this jumper. And I forgot to mention, I also have a 53 three ball, okay? With this jump shot and I green at such a consistent rate, it's so easy to time. And like I said, man, if you're looking for a jump shot, that's super smooth, not too quick, not too slow, and easy to green. But overall, if you're looking for a jump shot that is super smooth, not too quick, not too slow, this is the jump shot to go with. Make sure you guys equip it and let me know down below in the comment section how you like it. And for any players that are six foot five to six foot nine watching this video, if you feel like you have a really good jump shot, just let me know your jump shot down below and I'm gonna try it out. And now we're moving on to the best jump shots in NBA 2K24 for builds that are six foot 10 or taller. Now, in my opinion, one of the best ones in the game right now is this one. So for the base, go Jonathan Isaac and release number one, go Marquise Chris and release number two, go Tim Duncan. That Tim Duncan release is so smooth. Okay, it's very good. Now for the blending, go 26% marquise chris and go 74 percent tim duncan obviously go with the fastest speed possible now keep in mind the taller you get the slower the jump shot is even if it's the fastest speed it's basically going to be like 50 percent speed for like a shorter guard that's what it's going to feel like so you know the timing is going to be a little bit different but 
you know, as a tall big man build that can shoot, you want the fastest speed possible. Now, obviously being six foot 10, you're mainly gonna be a catch and shoot type of guy. You're not gonna be able to dribble and create shots for yourself, most likely, okay, most likely. Now, this really just depends if you play threes or fives, but most people watching this video probably play rec um, or some type of pro-am if they're looking for a good jump shot for builds that are six foot 10 or taller. Now, for all my poppers out there, let them know. Let them know down below in the comment section how good this base is. The Jonathan Isaac base is so smooth for catch and shoot. Now, I'm gonna give you guys one secret tip about this jump shot or it really any jump shot you use but this is very helpful when it comes to this for all the catch and shoot uh, players out there on taller popper builds now listen don't hold square ladies and gentlemen do not hold square before you get the ball hold l2 it's going to help your player catch the ball at a very quick rate once you catch the ball that's when you're going to want to hold square to shoot it okay it's not going to mess up your timing at all it's actually going to help it way more uh, but with this jump shot bro it's it's very quick to be six foot ten or taller um, for the build to be six foot ten or taller, this jump shot is super smooth. Okay, it literally he he literally just goes straight up a vertical one smooth jump shot motion. Okay, he just goes up right away, super smooth, super one motion. And I release the ball when the ball is literally at the top of my head. That's when I release it. That's my release cue. Like I said, man, I use push. It doesn't matter the build. It could be a six foot one build, six foot five, or even a seven foot one. It doesn't matter. I'm always going to be using push. I think that is the best release cue, um, especially for this jump shot. You're going to be able to hit with this jump shot at a very consistent rate. Now, all the comp poppers are definitely going to vouch that this Jonathan Isaac base is super smooth. And especially with this Marquise Chris and Tim Duncan release, you're going to be able to green with this jump shot. Let me know down below in the comments section what jump shot you're using for six foot ten builds or taller now for the last jump shot on this video for builds that are six foot ten or taller this one is super smooth and this is the basically i would call the old reliable this is what i use when the game dropped and i still like it a lot now for the base go eric paschal very consistent and smooth base release number one and release number two go lamarcus aldridge uh, go 50 50 it doesn't really matter the blending because it's the same release on um, one and two and then go obviously with the fastest speed possible now i will say something about this jump shot it is is a little bit slower than the Jonathan Isaac base. Now, Eric Paschal has a really smooth base. Okay, it's not as quick as Jonathan Isaac. Even though the jump shot is a little bit slower, it's not really gonna matter because you're tall, you're gonna be able to shoot over smaller defenders. And this base is pretty good. Now, I will say with this jump shot, my visual cue is the left foot. So if you're right-handed, it's gonna be the right foot. But with this player, I'm, I'm left-handed. My player is six foot 10. And what I like to do is I like to watch the left foot. As soon as I hold square, I let go and that left foot kicks out. Watch it one more time. Watch me pull up. You see the left foot kick out. I release it and it's green. It's super smooth. And that's a very good visual cue to look at. Like I said, man, I use push on all my jump shots. And most of the time I release when the ball is at the top of my head. But since this jumper is a little bit slower, I don't really like to look at that. I, like I said, I like to look at the left foot and I let go when that left foot kicks out and it's so smooth and it's so easy to remember with this jump shot. Now, all the big men that are six foot 10 or taller, all the poppers out there, let me know down below in the comment section, what jump shot are you currently using? And if you think it's better than these, let me know what it is. But overall, these are the best jump shots in NBA 2K24 for every height in the game. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe and comment down below. If you have a better jumper, let me know. Let me know your height, the build name, all the stats, and let me know the jump shot down below. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.